Eric has been caught in 4K faking his videos. If you don't know Eric, he is one of the most popular channels on YouTube, doing Mr. Beast style challenge videos. His social blade stats are no joke. He has quickly amassed a huge fan base of followers who love and trust Eric. As of any challenge YouTuber, you want to be able to trust that the videos are real and what the challenge is is real because otherwise the entertainment value is lost. If a challenge is fake, then it's not really a challenge at all. It's just a ploy to get as many views as possible. And while no one can deny Eric puts a ton of effort into his content he has been caught in 4k faking his videos you sit on a throne of lies i can't lie it's pretty hilarious how easily he was caught so let's add some context eric uploaded this video titled i have to delete my channel in this video eric announces what he calls his craziest challenge yet he pitches to his audience that he's gonna travel the world in 30 days and upload 30 videos while doing it even going as far at the start of this video to imply it's going to change youtube we are running out of time the end of the year is coming up and youtube hasn't changed at all but we do have one month left and one man stupid enough to try <laughs> Starting December 1st, I'm gonna be traveling around the entire globe, uploading 30 videos in 30 days to make the most of every second that we have left. Now, I've taken on tons of huge challenges in my time on YouTube, but this is something bigger that I don't even know if the Mafia is ready for. I'm gonna be circling the globe over the next 30 days, ending in New York City on New Year's Eve. You guys are invited. But if I miss a day, my channel and all of my videos get deleted forever. You think I'm lying? I gave my personal laptop and my password to Mr. Beast, who is dying to delete my channel. I literally have his YouTube channel, and I promise I will delete it if he skips one day. Doesn't matter if I'm in the Swiss Alps, the deserts of Dubai, small town in India. I have to upload 30 videos in 30 days, or I lose everything. Let the countdown begin. The video paints a pretty clear picture of what this challenge is. Fly around the world in 30 days, upload 30 videos while doing it, and if he doesn't do that, Mr. Beast will delete his channel forever. So there's clear reasons why this is such an insane challenge. One, daily uploading is hard enough as it is. Doing that for 30 days while traveling seems pretty fucking impossible. Two, the workload for his editors. Churning out videos at that rate, especially the ones that are done by him, so highly produced, well, again... How could he do that? Three, coming up with ideas while traveling requires a ton of creativity because it's all on the spot. And four, traveling around the world will cause jet lag, sleep pattern issues. To do that and maintain productivity again just doesn't seem feasible. And as we're going to find out, he didn't even try because this challenge is complete and utter bullshit. The challenge itself, the threat of his channel being deleted, the lot. For a YouTuber who does challenge videos, faking challenges will definitely put a big dent in your reputation. Especially when Eric himself is so against faking videos. Does Eric fake videos? This question triggers me because of the lengths that we go to to make sure that videos are not fake. So Eric got exposed by a smaller commentary channel who did a great job named Soggy Serial. Eric also responded and we'll dive into that after. Soggy Serial found extremely damning evidence, 100% proof that Eric has been lying to his fans and didn't even legitimately attempt this challenge from day one. So what caught Eric out first? Because there's a shit ton of evidence we're going to look at. Well, believe it or not, a parade. Eric's first video of the challenge was in Dublin. Remember, he is claiming to fly around the world in 30 days from December 1st. In the video, he mentions a parade in passing that he just sees. There's some kind of parade happening. All the roads around here are closed down. This is not something I anticipated, but we might have just- In which Soggy Serial, who is doing some serious detective work in this video, finds the date of this exact parade. Is this? Well, this is the Dublin Services Parade, which happened on September 2nd. So from the jump, the challenge was fake. A whole two months before he filmed this video. But Herak, what about the craziest challenge that was gonna change YouTube? The end of the year is coming up and YouTube hasn't changed at all. But we do have one month left and one man stupid enough to try. Scheduling uploads that you made two months ago wasn't 
in your challenge launch video. I guess it doesn't have the same ring to it as 30 videos in 30 days while traveling the world. Starting December 1st, I'm going to be traveling around the entire globe, uploading 30 videos in 30 days. So this surely means he's failed the challenge already because he hasn't even attempted it and lied. Mr. Beast, I think you're going to have to delete this guy's channel now. I mean, he promised. I promise I will delete it. Hashtag delete Eric. It's only fair. And I shit you not, Soggy Serial finds so much more embarrassing evidence. So not only was Eric exposed by a parade, but he also gets exposed by his own watch. Episode three of the challenge, Soggy Serial zooms into Eric's watch and, well, let's just say... We're back in September. So another episode completely faked and not part of the challenge. Soggy Cereal even goes as far as to look at the dates on his food in episode four to expose that he's not filming this in December. Why is he eating meat that expired on the 18th uh? of September? Yeah, so in episode four, we see him take out meat that has expired three months ago. Now, unless Eric loves the taste of gone off meat, it is pretty clear, and by the other evidence we've already seen, that Eric is definitely faking and lying to his viewers about this challenge. Now, fast forward to Eric's seventh episode of the challenge. Here, Eric actually admits that they're using a pre-recorded video, an emergency upload. We almost missed our upload window, and I have a few videos in this series saved for moments like this. Obviously, some of the videos in this series are not filmed completely live. These videos take so much time and effort to pre-produce. So luckily, I shot this video right before we shot the series in case of a moment like this. He said they had some videos ready just in case of a scenario where he couldn't upload, so he had to post this one. In this video, he's clearly lying. He had every intention of using using this upload on day seven. He didn't luckily just happen to film it before and had it in a vault just in case. The only reason he prefaced this video and had to do this, he literally had to do this preface at the start, was because Ryan Trahan, another YouTuber with over 40 million subscribers, posted the exact same video featuring Eric on October. So there was absolutely no way Eric could try and sell this as a live upload filmed during December. So the fact he added this at the start of this video, one, tells me that he wants everyone to believe that everything up to episode seven was live and part of a challenge because they didn't have any warnings or prefaces at the start. And two, how much he's lying and faking to his fans to try and act like he's legitimately doing this challenge when he absolutely isn't from the first fucking day. Soggy Serial shows how many videos he has proven and shown are fake, and man, it is absolutely insane. It's most of them. Eric also gets exposed for just completely not attempting this challenge. Like, we knew it from day one anyway, but maybe he could have traveled the world and just filmed it a bit later and just didn't abide by the December schedule, but he just didn't attempt it at all. In this video, Eric claimed he flew from Italy to Dubai because his last video before left off in Italy. So he's trying to act as if it's continued on from the last video. That's right. Freshly out of Europe, huh? We spent the first week of this episode going in a perfectly straight line across Europe. That's what we've been doing for the last six days. You guys can go watch the videos, but I am in pain. Greatness comes with a cost. If you don't know, I'm going all the way around the world in 30 days and uploading a video on this channel every single day for 30 days. And if I miss a day, my entire channel and all my videos get deleted forever by Mr. Beast. You can see from the graphic he uses of the plane that it's flying from Italy to Dubai. But this was proven not to be true by the airplane's TV, showing that the plane never left Italy to go to Dubai, but left from Houston. During the flight itself, you can clearly see on several occasions that the plane never left southern Italy. It left Houston, USA. You can also see the flight plan over here, and as a geographical expert, I know that this is Europe. And you know where the arrow is originating from? Well, that's America. Oh, he is getting caught out by every possible piece of technology. Even his hotel television exposes him. Episode 10, where he spends a night at a very expensive hotel, uh, you can see a news report from CNN on the TV about an event that happened on November 21st. About two months after he arrived in southern Italy. And then in episode 11 and 12, the power of Instagram proves that era pre-recorded these videos in November. Episode 11 and 12, he takes us to Australia. And this time, his flight
flight actually was from Dubai to Australia. Uh, but these episodes, one third into the challenge, still haven't been filmed in December. See, I found some Instagram posts featuring Eric and Cooper PD. The Underground Inn featured in episode 11. Um, and this was posted on November 27, more than 15 days ago. While someone posted a picture about episode 12, on November 26th. However, I'll give it to him. Episode 14, that was real and abided by the, the challenge. No. No, it didn't. It was also proved to be fake for the challenge. Let's jump into episode 14, where he flew in 50 competitive eaters into LA. Angeles this morning. To see if they can eat up an entire buffet. Um, and I knew that at least one of these 50 competitive eaters would slip up and post at least something about the Airag video on the day of filming. As he, one of them, posted an Instagram reel and a YouTube video about it on November 18th. I can't lie, Soggy Cereal has done some impressive investigative work here. Watching Airax launch video back now is so fucking cringe, man. Starting December 1st, I'm gonna be traveling around the entire globe uploading 30 videos in 30 days. I'm going all the way around the world in 30 days and uploading a video on this channel every single day for 30 days. There is literally no challenge. The challenge just hasn't existed. He didn't try it from day one. The only challenge is that he's uploading daily. He's barely traveling now. Side note, episode 13, 14, 15, and 16 have all been recorded in Los Angeles, uh, which if you don't know, is where Eric lives. Now I might live here in Los Angeles but so he's barely even traveling. The fake stakes of his channel being deleted. I promise I will delete it. And the hype now is just so cringe. I've taken on tons of huge challenges in my time on YouTube but this is something bigger that I don't even know if the mafia is ready for. I'm sure Eric, if you just announce that you're gonna do a vlogmas and daily upload you would get just as many views as you would have done doing this fake shitty challenge but you got greedy wanted to make it bigger and better than ever had these high ambitions that no one would figure out you're faking it but you got caught on the first hurdle my friend and i know most of your fans won't care because they just like your entertaining videos but you know you've lost a lot of credibility for doing something like this especially as a youtuber who does challenges and crazy videos there's a lot of people now who will be wondering in the back of their mind if they're fake i find it hilarious that airak's biggest challenge ever was taken down by a watch tv and a fucking parade airak responded in soggy cereals comments having assuming watched the video and it's a complete nothing response yo appreciate the feedback we are out shooting the series as we speak, but as I mentioned in the videos, some of them were shot before the series so we could give ourselves a head start to edit and make the vids as good as possible. Biggest lesson is to more clearly communicate uploading every day while I travel around the world. I think I could have been more clear in the exact constraints for sure. Appreciate the feedback a bunch and hope you guys enjoy the back half of the series. Yeah, one, uh, it wasn't feedback. He wasn't giving you feedback or telling you what to improve. This guy was straight calling you out for faking your videos and your challenge, which you completely got exposed for, Eric. This comment is him trying to damage control and play it off as, yeah, yeah, I'm not bothered about this, guys. Yeah, the challenge, I should have been a bit more clear and said that I'm not doing 30 days while doing 30 videos. I'm going all the way around the world in 30 days and uploading a video on this channel every single day for 30 days. Like saying shit like, biggest lesson is to more clearly communicate uploading every day while I travel around the... No. You made this massively produced, scripted launch video. You knew perfectly well what you were saying. You knew what the challenge was. The challenge was it would be deleted by Mr. Beast if you didn't do it. And from day one, your video just wasn't part of the challenge. It was filmed in September. So it's not a clear communication issue. You clearly tried to trick people into thinking you were traveling the world. You tried faking the flight from Italy to Dubai. The only time you admitted that some videos were pre-recorded or planned was when you had to because another YouTuber already posted the same video. It was very clear you were trying to sell these videos as part of your challenge and that you were legitimately doing it when you absolutely were not. He's a fake! He's a fake! You got caught with your pants down plain and simple. Like the video if Eric faked it, subscribe if you're new and until next time, fuck off. Does Eric fake videos? This question triggers me because of the lengths that we go to to make sure that videos are not fake.